Hey, eighth grade science students, welcome back. I'm Ms. Naranjo, and I'm going to talk about part two for your application assignment that you're doing for uh, module number five, talking about the electromagnetic spectrum. So in part one, you went ahead and chose which one you're going to research. You did some research, and then you went ahead and put your information inside these different um, no catcher that we created for you guys. I went ahead and created my own because visible light is not one of your options that you guys were able to go ahead and do. So this was an example I was gonna show you guys. So yours looks very similar to mine, except that it has visible light. So I have my visible light. I've got my different types of links that I went ahead and found information from. And then I went through and put information that helps me out there. So again, for panel one for discovery, I found out who discovered it, what part of the spectrum it is, its wavelength, I uh, also found out frequency, amplitude, energy for all of the part for discovery for that section. For part two for the panel, I went ahead and used the uses for it. And I kind of put some information in there for that part. And then for panel three, how the impacts again, I found some information and I put it in there. Again, these are notes for you guys to use. You're not turning them in, but they are very helpful in finding and being able to put together the next part, which is going to be the comic strip. Before we go ahead and talk about the comic strip, or let's go ahead and talk about the comic strip rubric before we look at my example of the comic strip. So here we go. Um, for your rubric, you need to make sure that the discovery, talking about the electromagnetic spectrum, that you have all the information that we're asking for. So who discovered it? Um, what is the wavelength? What is its frequency? What is its energy letter? What is its amplitude? So all of those in that first part, we need to make sure you guys have that information on and put inside of the comic strip for a panel one for that first section. For the section two, the everyday uses. So how is it used in everyday life? And then for the third section, it was going to be the impact on life form. Um, is it harmful or beneficial? And give examples of how is it harmful or how is it beneficial? So each of these panels, when you're creating this comic strip, it needs to represent where it was discovered, its everyday uses, um, and then impact on life. So not only are you telling the information about it, but the pictures that you're drawing or adding to it need to represent what you found out as far as information wise. Then you need to make sure there's vocabulary in there that is included, such as frequency, energy, wavelength, uh, electromagnetic spectrum or EM spectrum, and then amplitude. We're obviously looking for a little bit of creativity. Uh, if you would, again, like to draw this, or if you want to use one of the apps on the computer that we went ahead and had, um, there's a couple of ones that you can make your own comic strips to, and I'm sure some of you guys are very familiar with it. We went ahead and put links in there. And then your comic strip at the bottom needs to have at least three boxes. If you would like to add more, you are welcome to go ahead and do that. So for my example that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys again for visible light that I created. Uh, again, it shows the discovery, the uses and the impacts. As you can see up here, you can notice that discovery talks about who discovered it in the 13th century is Roger Bacon. And it talks about um, where on the EM spectrum it is, its frequency and its amplitude. And I went ahead and highlighted the different vocabulary words just so you guys could see that they were there. For its uses, um, because it is used to the, determine how hot objects are, such as stars, I figured an astronaut picture would be good here. So I went ahead and put that in here for the uses. And for my last one, for impacts with visible light, uh, visible light is extremely important. We couldn't be able to, we wouldn't be able to see without it. Uh, but there are other things that it applies to things like TVs, cell phones, and computers. So here I have like a kind of a laboratory situation. Um, here we have somebody and they're showing basically here are different types of instruments that we use for visible light. So here's my example. Again, as you can see, uh, I went ahead and made it applicable to what the discovery was, what its uses was, what its impacts were. I made sure to include my vocabulary. I have my three different panels. So I have all of the stuff that I need to go ahead and show. Again, you're welcome to go ahead and use some of these websites that you can create and change the background to do your comic strip at, but you can also draw it as well. All right. If you have any questions, please go ahead and contact your teacher and they will explain it more to you. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. See you later.